prison visitation, what not to wear. Hey, Bianca, I'm going to go visit my wife at LCIW for the first time, and I want to make sure I look my best. Could you help me, please? Sure thing, Sebastian. I visit my sister all the time, so I'm well acquainted with the dress code for visitors. Why do prisons have a dress code? Great question. The dress code helps ensure the safety of visitors, incarcerated people, staff, and the facility. DLC strives to ensure visiting areas maintain safe and family-friendly environments. There are usually 14 dress code rules that all visitors must follow. 14 rules may seem like a lot, but they're really pretty easy to follow. The first rule is that you can't wear clothing that is similar in appearance to clothing worn by imprisoned people. This includes solid gray or white t-shirts, gray or white sweatshirts, gray or white sweatpants, or blue chambray shirts. You mean I can't wear this shirt? That's a green shirt, not a blue chambray shirt, you goofball. Whew. I was worried because this is my favorite shirt. Visitors also can't wear clothing that exposes their bare shoulders. Oh, so that means you couldn't wear your favorite yellow jumpsuit. I guess not. Rule number three is you can't wear clothing that is similar in appearance to the clothing worn by correctional officers. This includes camouflage and blue battle dress uniforms. Rule number four is you can't wear tops that expose your midriff. Does that mean I can't wear that crop top you wore to Coachella? <laughs> That's right. Not only is it against the rules, but my crop top wouldn't even fit you. Okay, so on the DOC's website, it says visitors can't wear sheer or transparent clothing. Let's test this fabric out and see if it's transparent. Can you see me waving to you? I can see you texting and not waving to me, silly. Nice try, though. <laughs> Whoops. I guess that fabric is transparent, then. Good thing I don't have any clothing made out of this material. Rule 6 is visitors can't wear clothing with revealing holes or tears higher than one inch above the kneecap. Look at these jeans. One, two, three holes! You definitely couldn't wear these jeans to a prison. Bravo, Sebastian. See, you barely need my help. You may not be happy about this next rule. The website says you can't wear any bottom that's shorter than one inch above the kneecap while standing. That means you can't wear your favorite yellow skirt. Well, I can still wear it when we go out shopping or for dinner, just not to visit my sister in prison. Wow, Rule 8's super obvious. No swimsuits. Duh. Rule number 9 is visitors can't wear tights or pants fitting like tights, such as jeggings, leggings, leotards, spandex, aerobic exercise tights, or yoga pants. I'm definitely the most disappointed about the yoga pants. I guess I'll save them for my morning yoga sessions in City Park. Rule number 10 is pretty obvious. The rule states that undergarments like bras and underwear must be worn at all times and cannot be exposed. <laughs> you said underwear. Wow, really mature, Sebastian. Rule 11 is you can't wear any clothing or accessories with profane writing, images, or pictures. Rule number 12 is you can't wear gang-related or club-related clothing or insignia indicative of gang affiliation. Yeah, that rule makes sense. Rule 13 is shoes must be worn at all times, except for infants who are carried. House slippers and shower shoes are not allowed. This means your daughter doesn't have to wear shoes, but you do, Bianca. Does that mean you don't have to wear shoes either because you act like a baby? Okay, okay, funny. But even people who act like babies need to wear shoes. Only actual infants are exempt. So I know the last rule is that visitors can't wear hats. But do you think I'd be allowed to wear this awesome hat I got from my grandpa? Absolutely not. People are only allowed to wear hats or other head coverings if it is for a religious reason or if the person is a baby or a toddler. Look how cute your baby looks with my grandpa's hat. Sebastian, take that hat off my baby. Fine, but I think it's cute. Okay, so I'm not saying I'm going to do this, but what happens if I break this dress code? Can I still visit? Oh no, visitors who are wearing improper clothing will not be allowed to visit. That's why it's really important you dress according to the dress code. 
You don't want your wife to be disappointed that you can't visit her because you decide to wear that goofy hat. <laughs> it's like you can read my mind. I think I know everything I need to know to choose my outfit now. Great. Now show me what you're thinking about wearing. So what do you think? I love it. I'm sure your wife will too. Thanks, Bianca. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs>